Today I'm going to mine Bitcoin. The only rule, I can't use a computer, which means I'll have to use a pencil and paper. But is this even possible? Well, if computers mine cryptocurrency and the brain is a computer, then it stands to reason that I should be able to mine Bitcoin with only these items. For those coming in cold, if you don't know what Bitcoin mining is, basically you take a number and transform it using a function called SHA-256. That's a nice hash, boy. Then you check to see if the result falls beneath the target value set by the network. The network modulates the difficulty such that new blocks are written roughly every 10 minutes. The current difficulty level is a number with 17 leading zeros. And if you discover the number with these interesting properties, you get the block reward currently worth over $100,000, which means I need to start generating hashes. I got a little carried away with that edit. First, I chose a phrase that would serve as our hashing seed. Then I converted it to binary. Then to pre-process, you append a one and the length of the original message. Then fill it with zeros until it's a multiple of 512. Then you create an array that is 64 items long where each item is 32 bits called a message schedule. Next, we iterate through a rotation function starting at the 16th item going until the last item in the array. This function is literally insane. Next, we stand up our eight constants, each containing 32 bits. We will transform these constants until we've created our final hash. We also need to reference another table of constants containing 64 32-bit entries. These constants are provided by the NSA. Now we run the transformation function against the 256-bit hash array for each row of our message schedule, which is 64 rows. On the last entry, we add the constants to the new working constants, then convert them to a hexadecimal, which gives us our final SHA-256 hash string. But is our hash value low enough to grant us the next block reward? 